Hi guys, and today we're going to be going through one uh, aspect of monetary policy which is all about controlling interest rates. And typically these are the two um, famous economists. Uh, we have Margaret Thatcher here, she was an advocate of monetary policy, and we do have Milton Friedman. Both of them do follow monetary policy, and obviously this is just interest rates we will be looking at in this video. And there are obviously other aspects of monetary policy, which will be in later tutorials. So, we're going to be doing monetary policy, just one aspect, which is obviously interest. So, this involves changing the interest rate or manipulation of the money supply by the monetary authorities. We will be looking at money supply a little later. So, in the UK, monetary policy is managed by the Bank of England by the Monetary Policy Committee. That is a key term that you do need to remember that it is the Monetary Policy Committee that manage interest rates, not the UK government. There is a difference. So obviously there are some aims of monetary policy and the three main aims of monetary policy is to control the rate of inflation, maintain sustainable economic growth and to influence the exchange rate. So interest rates can also be used in good times and as you can see here there are some wealthy investment bankers making lots of money. So surely when times are good we don't need to intervene in the economy. Well no because there will be too much demand and that leads to demand pull inflation. So we have the inflation here. This leads to demand pull inflation where there is too much money that people have and they're spending the money and shops think well I can increase my price because you know people are prepared to spend it so there is too much money that people have so one way that we can start to reduce the money in the circular flow is to re to alter interest rates so what I mean by that is is that if you increase the interest rates people will save more money because it's more attractive to save with higher interest rates because obviously you'll be making more profit off that if you bank your money but also um, less people invest money because you're taking out a loan you don't want to pay high interest rates on that loan so you're not going to take out that loan for that new car or whatever you're taking out a loan on so people begin to invest less, people begin to bank more of their money, which takes money out of the economy and starts to reduce that demand pull inflation. So in good times, what the Monetary Policy Committee, which is part of the Bank of England, can do is to start increasing interest rates. This is often known as a deflationary monetary policy, because you want to deflate the economy. If you want to make times better, if you're in a recession and you want to make people spend more, then you'd have an expansionary monetary policy. So like we just discussed that you can use interest rates in a good time to reduce demand pull inflation where people have too much money, they're chasing too few goods with too much money, you can also use interest rates to in bad times, so in bad times in a recession. Okay, so how do we use interest rates to make things better for the people, improve the overall economy and reduce major unemployment like we see on this picture? Well the first thing we can do is to reduce interest rates. So what that means is is that you get less money for banking your money. So if I had five pounds and I have the choice to either bank that money or spend it. If interest rates are low, I will less likely to bank that because I will make less profit on that. So you with me there? So if we have less interest rates, I'm not going to bank my money. So what do I do with it? Well, I'm more likely to spend it. So if I'm spending my money in a shop, they get more demand, they employ people, those people get more money, multiplier effect, so on people get much much more richer and it improves the overall economy but not only this it can also affect investment levels if you have a low level of interest rates on taking out a loan then people will take out loans to invest in their company if they're investing they're spending 
um, money companies that give people money on loans, you know their their uh, business is going to go up. So people will have much more investment, and obviously if you have more investment, then the aggregate supply will increase. So obviously I'll just draw that on there. So we have aggregate supply like that. Aggregate supply will ultimately increase because people are investing more, but also aggregate demand will go up. Because if we look at it like that, people are obviously people are obviously consuming more. That's not very clear. It's just so if we just go like that, people are obviously consuming more because interest rates are low, so they're more encouraged to spend. So in a bad time, you reduce interest rates, people spend more, invest more. We get out of this recession.